Marion County Youth Development Center workers now have to focus on cleaning up their own property instead of the youth issues in the area. Now this comes after their building was broken into and vandalized yesterday afternoon. Our Ronell Hunt was the first one on the scene and has more. A place that is typically used for the learning and growth of Marion County youth is now replaced with growing pains as employees of the Fairmont Community Youth and Development Center are left with questions after this building was broken into. I kind of uh, thought, okay, are they still in here? That was my first instinct was they're still, they may still be in here, whoever it was. That was one of many thoughts that board member Regina Bruce had as she went to unlock the shop early Monday afternoon. When I first saw this, I was very angry. Um, because, you know, we're just trying to get a positive, you know, light on this place now, on, you know, on the center again for the community, for the kids, you know, and um, I just think it's really sad that, that this happened. Both the first and second floor were ransacked by the intruder as clothes were thrown, walls were damaged, and even a drum set and multiple computers were stolen by what many workers believe was a squatter. Bruce says it was a shock considering they have never had issues before. I know we've had people around on the grounds, you know, um, and I've seen, I've noticed, you know, different things around the, around the grounds, but never I've seen it, seen it like this. I mean, it's never been broken to that I am aware of. Now looking to build back stronger than ever, Regina told 12 News they need the community's support like never before for cleanup, donations, and support for kids that use resources from the center to prepare their future. The main thing is we're trying to get this center on a positive note again. Um, so we really want, you know, would like the community to step in and help with, you know, whatever they can help with. If they saw anything, um, we do need people to help. Now, if you yourself have any tips or know of anyone that has any tips, you are asked to contact the City of Fairmont Police Department and you can remain anonymous. Reporting in Fairmont for 12 News, I am Ron L. Hunt.